It is Vlogmas, and so I thought I would take this opportunity to show you how I color my hair at home with e -salons. I have to admit that one of the most frequently commented on features in person and here on the channel is my hair. So I can't take a ton of credit for it. I think I just got lucked out in the gene department, but I do find that people are surprised to learn that I color my hair at home. So for a long time, I would go to the salon and pay for root touch-ups. Sometimes I would get balayage or highlights, but for me, I just found like the cost was getting a little out of control. Now, I think hairstylists are worth the money they charge. I don't want anyone to like think that. It just became at a point where I didn't want to prioritize it in my budget. So I was like, I can do this at home, right? I've watched it enough times. I can watch YouTube and learn how to color my hair. And it is a little more complicated than that, but I've been coloring my hair at home for about a year. I started with L'Oreal Color & Co, but they discontinued their color service. So I went with eSalon. So we often hear about like one called Madison Reed on the podcast, but I chose eSalon because I wanted to start with a semi-permanent or demi-permanent color and then switch to permanent once I felt confident in my skills because I was like, I don't want to do anything that would mess up my hair. In addition, I really need permanent color to cover my grays. So let's see if we can zoom in here. Um, my grays are a lot right here. And I wanted to do this video now because uh, I need to cover my grays before some Christmas events. So I'm gonna show you all about how I color my hair. And, um, and as we do this process, I'll share a little bit more about why I actually prefer doing it at home. E Salon will send you a kit at pre requested intervals in your account. You can set up whether you want to get your color kit every six weeks, every eight weeks, 10, 12. I try to go about eight weeks, which allows me to cover my grays more frequently without the cost of a salon. When I was going to the salon, I was definitely trying to stretch out those appointments and going 10 to 12 weeks but at home I can color my hair more frequently. Each kit comes with a developer, your color, two pairs of gloves, and your extras. And your extras include shampoo and conditioner for washing out the color. You also have stain guard, which is very helpful when you are first learning how to color your hair and then stain remover as well, which I sometimes use on my counters. They also give you directions each and every time and each kit comes with a sticker so you can post them as a reminder on your bathroom mirror. When I'm coloring my hair at home, like the big thing for me, partially because my hair is long, is I really like to give it a good brush. I wanna make sure I don't have any products in it, but I have not washed my hair this morning. So just giving it all the tangles. It does not have to look pretty. It just has to be easy to get the color through your hair and to not even that, just really be easily sectioned off. Next step is to section your hair into four sections. So I like to use the color brush that I got in my initial startup kit. You will get an initial startup kit that like comes with a lot of stuff to help you color your hair at home. And again, just giving my hair like that really nice brush through. Each section will be secured with a clip. Isalon will send you clips, but um, even though I have boys, my kids love to steal them. So I have this one. These are actually my favorite. They hold a little bit better. These are from Dry Bar. And I will link them in the description box down below. And I will also put in a referral code if you are interested in trying eSalon. I believe if you click the link that like I get a credit. I don't know. So and then because my kids have stolen all my clips, I'm using just these cheap 
claw clips as well. So I redid the front clip. I always do the section that has the most grays first because I want that color to sit there as long as possible. Next up, we're gonna mix the color. And what I love about Isalon and similar services is that you don't have to weigh your developer. You know, it used to be if you wanted to use salon products at home that you would have to have a scale, measure out your developer, measure out your color, know what color. This is super simple in terms of doing that. So I poured the color into the developer and I'm just gonna shake that up super good. Now me personally, I really like to double check that, that color is like really well mixed because I, I just don't wanna take any risks. And if you've ever colored your hair red, uh, I will notice that the color gets more developed. Huh, imagine that. The actual solution becomes darker red as you go on. So sometimes I will mix this up and then section off my hair. And if you have a lot of hair like I do, you can even create smaller sections. I just kind of pulled this off to show you like that first little bit. And then um, you can, we'll kind of time lapse this. We'll make movie YouTube magic. But first, we've got to put on our gloves. They give you two sets. So we've got set number one right here. And like, if you ever lose gloves, go to a Sally's Beauty because they sell them super cheap. Okay, but especially if you're coloring red or dark colors, you want the gloves on. Like, don't think you don't need the gloves. You do. So now that my color is developed, I'm gonna start just putting some color on. You can use the brush or you can just put it on and use your fingers. And I kind of do like a hybrid method. So I gently squeeze the color onto the root and then I brush it down. Now you want to just cover the new growth if you have been doing this for a while. And I'm just gonna do a little more. Again, I am super paranoid red can be a challenging color. So just making sure that's covered. And then you take a thin strip. That's why I really like these brushes. I think I just smacked you. And then we're gonna go again. And I can see, you probably cannot, that this is a really gray section. So I kind of hit both sides with the brush as I'm doing these thin strips. So sectioning off, zooming in, painting it on, and continuing. I have taken off my gloves. I look so fancy. And the color sits for about 35 minutes. And one thing I do do is, I forgot to take a little video, is that I kind of like to work the color into my roots just because like this part back here can get so tricky. Um, I just wanna make sure that I got color everywhere I want. And then, um, yeah, I did get color. I typically do not use this stain guard anymore because it gets on my nerves. Um, but I will go and uh, remove the color from my face. Normally I'm a little cleaner, but there we go. This does work really well. And again, if you have issues, a lot of this stuff you can pick up at Sally Beauty. Um, I'm so pretty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
while this color is setting, the one benefit of coloring my hair at home is I can continue to do whatever I need to do. So I can work, I can pick up, I can relax. I can't relax comfortably on the couch because I don't want to get red color on the couch. Ooh, I missed some with the sting guard. But I always hated like sitting in the salon. I just got so bored. I got so bored being there for like, sorry for all the lighting change. This is a good light. You know, two hours or whatever. And then I had the owner as my salon, as my, the owner of the salon was my stylist. And so she was often doing multiple clients at one time. And I kind of felt like I was just, not ignored, but sometimes I felt like I was just sitting there for a really long time when I didn't need to be. So I want to be clear that any advice that I give in this video is just like my own experiences. I am not a licensed cosmetologist. Um, I've just learned through trial and error and what I'm about to do may not be recommended. One of the things that I am super paranoid about, especially with just coloring my roots is having like this like super obvious like line in my hair. Now we do add some color later, but what I like to do is about halfway through like the wait time is just kind of like drag a comb just a little bit through to bring that color down a little bit. Now again, I don't really know what I'm doing, but that way there's less of a line, but then again, like this color isn't sitting on some of that middle, like that hair close to the root, but not really the root that long. Like it's just melting. Like if I actually knew what I was doing, you know, but again, just kind of bringing that down a little bit. Um, and that just makes me feel better about the whole process. And I'm mostly concerned about the front and the part. Um, because that's what people see, you know, one time someone complimented me, they're like, when you do your hair, what's great is you actually remember to do the back of your hair. And this wasn't about hair color. This was just like when you curl your hair, like, you know, like sometimes you only care a little bit about the back, but I try to curl all of my hair. Now I will also say that people with less hair, um, we'll probably have an easier time. I do struggle a little bit with the back. Like I've gone back and forth about teaching Mark <laughs> to color my hair, but I don't know if I'm ready for that level of like intimacy in my marriage. One thing that's hard to do at the salon, eat lunch, but I can eat lunch when I color my hair at home. So the next steps of this hair situation is to fill this little bad boy here with water and then pour it over my hair, massage it for two to three minutes and then rinse thoroughly. Yeah. Anyway, it involves me getting in the shower. I, I don't have to say anymore. So I am going to show you when it's all like beautified up. So the next time you see me, I'm going to look like, so here is the finished product. I did style it with my curling iron. And when I style my hair with heat, I am always using the Bumble and Bumble Heat Shield Thermal Protection Mist. This is my kind of current fave. And then my absolute favorite hairspray is the Aveda Hair Control. This is like the teeniest one. But I, on my Christmas list, I did request a hairspray because this is almost out and I'm gonna try the Bumble and Bumble hairspray. I just, on my hair, even though I color it myself, I do like to use really good quality products. And I have to say with Isalon, like I've been pretty impressed. Like my hair comes out really soft. There's not like a gross chemical smell. Um, and the color does really last a long time. And as it grows out, I really don't notice like a huge difference. So it is a little bolder than it will be in a couple weeks. And when it comes to maintaining my color, I uh, don't wash it for at least like three days. And I try to avoid getting it wet. So if I 
am in a place where I'm swimming in my swim spot, I will try to time it so that I don't have swims for a couple of days. And the swim spot does use a lot less chlorine or mine has less chlorine than a pool would. So it makes it a little gentler on the hair. Uh, but I think I did a really good job. Like I don't notice any huge lines. The gray, that's my big thing is I just, I just don't like gray. And like one of the things with weight loss or when I was in a larger body, I became really like attached to my hair because I felt like that was one thing that could be beautiful about me that wasn't dependent on my size. So I, I'm kind of attached to it. I try to treat it well. And I am really happy with how it turned out. I hope like you enjoyed this really low key tutorial on how I color my hair at home. If you have other questions, leave them in the comments down below and continue to join me for more Vlogmas fun.